one of the most widely distributed spruces in North America, stretching from the Atlantic to Pacific coast, Piscium mariana, the black spruce, and the Pinaceae. Mariana means of Maryland, and there's one stand of black spruce in Maryland. It's really not a very good scientific name for this species. It's really more of a boreal species, but it's very common in the northeastern United States, especially in acidic bogs or peatlands. The spruces are often confused with one another because they do look very similar initially, but they have some very important distinguishing features. If one looks carefully at a stem that doesn't have any needles, there are very fine peg-like projections called sterigmata, and that tells us that it's a spruce. Spruce needles are held singly to the twig. In black spruce, the needles are rather soft, they're short, and they're bluish green in color. And the color is really important because red spruce has more of a yellow green or bright green color. Really the most important diagnostic feature is if you look at along the stem, there's pubescence that you can only really see well with the hand lens, the 10X hand lens. And if you look carefully with the 10X hand lens, you'll see that the pubescence is of two kinds, both a lollipop shaped hair and a very sharp pointed hair or acute hair. And that's a very unique feature for black spruce. The spruces are also identified readily by the cone size and shape. Black spruce cones are about the diameter of a nickel. They're often on the very reddish, brownish, blackish side, and they have very erose scale margins, but it's the smallest of all the spruce cones that are native to the United States. The bark on all spruces, scaly, and on black spruce, with age, the bark becomes very blackish, one of the reasons why it's called black spruce. Black spruce is a very fine timber species, especially for uses involving pulpwood or for musical sounding boards. Piscium mariana, black spruce.